Hi, I'm Curtis Walschuk, Associate Director of Programming at VIF. Today, we're announcing the award winner for Best BC Short Film. This is a category we're very excited to have back at this year's festival. Past winners have included Badovan, The Dawn Comes by Amanda Strong, and Rupture by Yasmina Karaja. Before we announce the winner, we would like to thank our jurors, Sandra Ignegni, Jessica Johnson, and Lawrence the Lamb for the careful consideration they gave all the nominees. My name is Alfred Matning, the Senior Manager for Community Initiatives at Tell a Story Hive. As a premier partner of the Vancouver International Film Festival, we are proud to present the award for the best BC short film. Supporting local creators and important cultural organizations is, a very, import is very important to tell a story hive and we're happy to continue to do so with BIF. Before I share the selection for the best BC short film, the jurors wish to give a special mention to Quilly Wu's Sunken Cave and a Migrating Bird for its unique filmmaking approach. The jury was particularly impressed with the haunting use of sound to underscore the film's main themes. This is a mysterious work that left us looking forward to seeing more from the director. Here's what the members of the jury have to say about the winner. In this story about a recovering addict who slips and uses on the cusp of a big milestone, Philip Thomas puts you in the shoes of a man who feels like a fraud for being celebrated and heralded as an inspiration to his community. Taught, eloquently performed, and beautifully captured, the film movingly allows us to witness strength being found in a moment that was originally thought to be a failure. This is an achievement of high craft. And the winner of the 2020 VIF Best BC Short Film is Cake Day by Philip Thomas. Congratulations, Philip. Hi everyone, uh, thank you very much for um, such an awesome award. Thank you to the jury for, uh, for, for liking it so much and I'm, I'm really happy the film resonated with everyone and um, a big thank you to Cameron Crosby uh, for being so vulnerable through the whole process uh, of shooting it and um, wouldn't have been able to do it without him. So thank you to all of you.